afternoon. Welcome to a new week. We're at the train station again, funny enough. This is like the sixth or seventh time we've gone to London this year, which is, we never do that, do we? Huh? We haven't been to London for seven. You probably have. We've been to Harry Potter twice, we've been to Waitress. Six. But I've been to six. Four. There's been other Waitress times as well. well. But anyway, we're, we're going uh, to see Waitress again with Joe Sugg in it. So, yeah, Poppy didn't see it last time because she was uh, poorly. So, just waiting for the train. We're in the taxi on our way to the theatre. So, it looks a bit miserable outside actually, doesn't it? It's, I think it's supposed to be raining all afternoon, so. Pops. Ready? Polly. Why did I get the Polly? Polly. Polly. So we're here. I couldn't film outside because it was chaos. It was absolute madness. So Holly's queuing up for the toilet. Mark's gone to get me a cup of tea because I'm dying for one. But look, here he is. There he is in the program. Oh, Right, so this is our seat view. No, thank you. Um, so I know I've shown you the stage before when we came to see it before. <laughs> But we're not oh. too bad. We'll be able to see. There we are. Sitting down, getting ready, getting the sweets, getting the programme. Oh, don't actually see me, we're in the interval at the moment. Bobby's got a crisps. Look, bucket of crisps. <laughs> Alright. Alright, a tub of crisps then. <laughs> Mark's had a pie. We've just been down about three million flights of stairs to the toilets. It's very good, very good. We're now waiting to see Joe, if he's coming out, don't know. In the pouring rain like idiots. But we've got a lot of other idiots as well, so it's alright. That's not Joe. Bobby's really sad that you died. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. Oh, everybody dies. It's right. Okay, you doing this? That's fine. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. Thank no, you. that's fine. Thank you. Oh, don't get wet. There's a big puddle in there. Yes. Good afternoon. Why? Well, you mean the fact that you just said that you're. <laughs> the amount of people though on YouTube that are doing um, sunbite adverts at the moment. Oh. 
Loads of choose, people. You don't choose what happens. No, I mean like they do it not on their YouTube but on paid Instagram. Posts. Yeah, paid thingies. Anyway. Good afternoon again as I'm saying. We're uh, talking crisps. <laughs> talking something. And we're off to do this clip and climb thing. Well I'm not obviously. Yeah, go on. But Mark Holly and Poppy are and we're meeting Mark's family there because um, it's a long story but anyway there's a little boy that um, we know that it's his birthday and so he's gonna like doing it well I don't know if he's gonna like it or not but we'll soon find out and then we're gonna go back to Mark's sisters for a Chinese Chinese Chinese, Chinese. Um, and then come back and watch Strictly. So it sounds like the perfect Sunday to me. Woo! Woo! see it behind the trees there it is the moon it's like a big torch in the sky happy birthday to you happy birthday dear Vinny <laughs> happy birthday to you not this again come on man come on go on yeah. hey. Good morning, I'm sure it still is, just 25 to 12. Um, it's Monday, welcome to a new week. And I probably said that already actually, because I always say that on Saturday, so I don't know what I'm talking about. But it is the start of a new week, isn't it, on a Monday. Um, done a few jobs today, done the two minute silence um, at 11 o'clock, 
and my friend Donna is coming over for a couple later and a catch up and I've got to do some headshots for Holly because she's with um, registering her at a performing arts college but they have to have head and body shots and I wondered if it had to be done professionally but not at this stage I don't think so I'm just going to take them later and then get her registered um, yeah so that's about it really it's a miserable day I was going to take Evie out this morning but it's raining at the moment so I'm going to see if that clears up a bit later and then get her out because a white dog in the wet weather isn't good. Try that as a tongue twister. A white dog in the wet weather. A white dog in the wet weather. A white dog in the wet weather. Oh, actually, actually it's alright. Maybe I can say tongue twisters better than I can speak normally. Hi, could I make an appointment, please? Yes. Um, I've had a, a problem with one of my teeth has been sort of sensitive and hurting and I didn't know if I needed a fill in so I thought I'd better get it checked. 2.45 tomorrow, that's great. Thanks very much. Bye. So, you may have gathered from that phone call that I've got a bit of a problem with one of my teeth. It's been a problem for a little while now and it's just when I like it's sensitive so when I eat or drink anything cold it really hurts but yesterday it just started hurting anyway and I don't know if I need a filling um, I've had this before and I've gone to the dentist and they couldn't find anything wrong so whether it could be a fibro thing do you get fibro pain in your teeth I would be really interested to know I get jaw pain with fibro but not actual tooth pain and I can probably it's out of two teeth that I can pinpoint but I'll be interested it's tomorrow I've got to go at 2.45 so good afternoon to you it's it's 10 past 12 I'm just gonna sit down and I realized that was my leggings by the way like that not me <laughs> I'm not making that noise I promise I just realized that I haven't actually picked up the camera since the weekend I don't think because Monday I filmed the fibro section oh my god I've got to get that up and going today I've got to do that I'll do that in a minute so because to, yesterday I had such a busy day I thought I wouldn't have a chance so I don't think I filmed anything for this this vlog Monday and yesterday was so busy I'll explain a little bit now. Um, so Tuesday, I had to take Poppy to the orthodontist for a checkup um, because she needs braces. But you know, she had those teeth out. If you follow my vlogs, you'll you'll know that. So she had two teeth taken out recently, and they said they're waiting for a molar to come through now before they can redo the molds and put her braces on. So they said to wait another four months, so Poppy wasn't very happy about that. But I said, well, at least you've got four months without wearing braces again. <laughs> but I think she just wants to get it over and done with because she's got them on for two years. Anyway, so we did that in the morning. And then I came home, made a couple of pebble pictures, had some lunch. Then she had her interview for her college course, um, which we went to and I took her to, I was going to ask my mum and dad to take us, but I thought no, because I was in a lot of pain yesterday, it was really wet and cold day, so I was in a lot of pain, and I thought, oh, should I drive, but I did, and I did it, and I took her, and I actually was very impressed with myself, because I socialised with someone that I didn't know, if you don't know me, I am very socially awkward, <laughs> I don't like talking to people I don't know, but this lady was lovely and her son is doing the same course as Poppy and we sat there for the hour that she was gone and her son was gone just chatting so it's really nice um, so we did that and then I come home had to dish up dinner and we watched some telly so it was just there was nothing to film really because it was just me darting around but 
Today I was supposed to go to Sita Yoga, but I woke up and started coughing a lot again and I was blowing out pure blood and I thought I'm not going to go because I'm worried that I'm going to get in there and it's all going to be quiet and I'm going to start coughing. So I did a, oh, this is hilarious, I wish I'd have filmed it. I tried to do a, a simple yoga routine on the floor, not on the chair, um, from YouTube. I mean, I, I could do some of the poses, but not many of them. My wrists are so weak, and a lot of the yoga poses are, like, on all fours. And it was just too much for my wrists. So, I attempted it. And I'm going to do some mindfulness later as well. Mindfulness. Um, so that's why I haven't filmed for the last two days. That's what's gone on today. And I have, what else have I done? I'll put some washing on, just found a dentist and I need to take Evie out but my ankle keeps giving way in pain so I'm like oh I hope it doesn't give way while I'm out but it's such a nice sunny day I don't want to not take her out and then Holly's on half day today so she's going to the gym after college and then she's coming home and we've got a new series we're watching together it's on a kids channel but it looks really good. It's called um, Are You Afraid of the Dark? And it used to be an old children's series, but they've brought it back and it looks really dark, really twisted, that sort of thing. So we're going to start watching that, which I'm looking forward to. And as I say, I better get me fibro section up and running because it's Wednesday and people would be like, Nicola, where's your fibro section? Good afternoon, I think. No, it's good morning still, it's 10 to 12. Um, I am, there's a reason why I'm holding scissors. It is because I'm going to open this with you rather than show you my address. And yeah, thought I'd cut it open with you. It's for the bungalow. It's heavy, that's for sure. I think I know it is, yes it is. It is the curtains, that's what's heavy. So these, these are the curtains for the bungalow. Um, they're crushed grey velvet and they're fully lined so they should keep nice and warm in the lounge. These are 90 by 90 because we've got a massive window to outside. So they look fully lined. So that's the first one. And then these, because there's two windows in the lounge. So that's the second lot, which are size, they're smaller, 66 by 72. Because we didn't want these ones to the floor because these are going to be near the dining room table. So we've got the curtains, which is good. And then, ta da! Get that up there. We have bedding, new bedding. And it's got like deers on with hearts. And there's a picture on the back, look, if you can see that. So that's what it looks like. That's in a king. Uh, I'll tell you the prices of all these in a minute. And then this one is... Oh, it's our fleece bedding. I ordered us, for when it's really chilly, some fleecy bedding. And it feels like heaven. It's in cream. King size. Just cream fleecy bedding, lovely. I won't put that on yet because it's not quite cold enough for that yet, but it's getting there. It is getting there. Right, let me tell you the prices of them. This was all from Studio Cards. I know it seems weird because it's a card book, but it does um, homeware as well. So let's have a look. The biggest curtains were £59. The next size was £37. The fleecy bedding, 
hard to work it out actually by this. Well, one of them was 29 and one of them was 24. So I don't know which one was which out of them, but I'm guessing the fleecy bedding would be more expensive. But anyway, that's what was in this parcel. Thought you'd like to see that. So, this is what's happened. Lunchtime today, I came in with my lunch, smashed my foot into the coffee table, breaking my little tiny toe, the smallest one, which I've done many a time, so I understand what I've done. Fine, that hurt, strapped it to the next one, well Poppy, Poppy did for me, sorry I can't speak properly, that's the next thing. Went to the dentist, as I said yesterday, found a I'd lost part of a filling, so injected my gum, so it's all numb, I'm like, Phew. and drilled a hole and put another filling in. So that's the second thing, so I'm thinking what's the third thing going to be, because I've got to go to choir tonight, so I'm hobbling round, I said to Holly, I came out of the dentist like, <laughs> like hobbling on my foot and all my face droop, and I was like, great. Great oft. <laughs> side view, side view. <laughs> so it's Friday, Friday, Friday. Oh, and I have someone with me today holding the camera. Turn it around. <laughs> it's, um, what do you call it? A thingy day. Teacher training, Teacher training day at hobby school. So, um, First of all, get my nails done. So Poppy's coming with me for that. And help me choose the colours. Yeah. What colour are you thinking today? I don't know, have a look. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, we're going to the range to get a few Christmas bits and pieces and have lunch. Lunch. And then we've got to get back because you've got to sort of clean the guineas top half. Yeah and take Evie out mm -hmm. and I've got to finish editing this to get it uploaded tomorrow <laughs> so that's our plan yeah. I don't know if you can really appreciate the colour of my nails in this light but they're purple anyway they've got like the fireworky design that was Poppy's choice wasn't it Pops? Yes. Poppy chose it, oh it's a bit blurry it's a bit blurry, there yeah, it's focusing <laughs> so we're sitting up here having our lunch and we're going to go over there in a minute to all the Christmas, Christmas goodness. We're just waiting for our lunch. <laughs> lunch. Christmas. Be some light. Giant Santa blow up thing. Shall we go around? It's tree skirts. I like that one. That's really nice. Lots of lights. Look at this pop. Yeah, I know. 70 quid. Not really. Blimey. No. They might have one in um, Primark. I'll have a look. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Look at this one. I don't know the ones that like play music though because it's a bit creepy. It's a bit annoying. You can probably turn off the music. Never, it never Ooh, hello. Lit oh, Santa. No. Yeah. Oh, I love the elf factory. Oh, that's, that's cute. Nice. <coughs> Oh. <laughs> Where? On the roof. Oh, on the roof up there, yeah. Baubles galore. Well, oh, these are pretty. I think the glitter would come off on them. Still like these ones. Snowman. That's cute. I like this. Oh, yeah, that's nice. So many baubles. Right, 
home now. Um, we had a lovely time. I can't, I was going to do like a mini haul with you, but I can't because a lot of it is Christmas presents. And if people watch this that are going to have a present from me, they're going to know what they've got. So I did buy some Christmas tree decorations, but again, it's a bit difficult to get all of them out at the moment. So you will see it when we put the tree up, whenever that may be, whenever we're moving. So I'll talk to you a little bit about that actually. So we're gonna hopefully be moving the last Friday in November, which I think is about the 29th. That's the ideal scenario, <laughs> but it could all go tits up <laughs> and it could mean that we move when we come back from Edinburgh, which is what I don't want to happen. I have had so much stress and if you saw my stress video on Wednesday you will know over this move because the person that we're buying the bungalow from she's buying a flat and the flat needed a longer leasehold so that's what we've been waiting for the leasehold you know to be extended but now we're just the leasehold is back but we're still waiting for other stuff from their solicitor and it's so frustrating because I just want a date that's all I want and especially around Christmas and I've got I am still getting myself in a bit of a stew but I have this thing at the back of my head saying it's fine it doesn't matter as long as we're together as long as the family are together it doesn't matter so if we have to move in December we'll just put the tree up when we've moved everything in it doesn't matter of course saying that it does matter <laughs> It does matter to me because we always put our decorations up at the first possible thing in December and of course if we're not moving until after Edinburgh then that's not going to happen but it may be well just be pure chaos where we're moving and putting decorations up at the same time or it may be that it works out well for us to move at the end of this month go to Edinburgh and put the tree up when we get back so we just see we will just see, but it's the stress of not knowing, if that makes sense. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this week. I'm going to leave it here. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done already and you like my videos. I'm trying to get to 200 subscribers by Christmas. And how you can help me with that is when I post my videos on my social media, my Facebook, my Twitter and my Instagram, you can share them. And that really helps for people to see my channel. So thank you for the people that already do, like Irene. You always do for me. That really helps. And if anybody else does, um, Beverly, I know you do sometimes. And other people sometimes retweet my, my, my messages. So yeah, that's all very helpful. So thank you for doing that if you do that for me. And I will see you next Wednesday for a special fibro section. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I'm just mixing it up a little bit. And um, then I'll see you for the weekly next Saturday. So don't forget to give it a thumbs up and see you next week. Bye.